the driver trainers of Union Place, Colombo 2. The story of the game, over now to Aubrey Ebert to report down the line from Candy. Good evening. Well, Royal as expected, has retained the Badby Shield, coming up to Candy as they did with a first big haul of 36 points to nothing. Today, Trinity's roaring start ended in a dismal whisper as Royal went on the rampage to trounce Trinity at home by the impressive margin of 25 points to 6. Royal's points came off one goal, four tries and one penalty to Trinity's one goal. While Royal played well to a man, it was some half team who really stole the thunder, scoring three sizzling tries. Sander Fernando and Siri Wardner scored a try each. Denied of possession in total, Trinity was committed to defence, but here too, they gave an appalling display with some of the most ineffective tackling I have witnessed. Adding to Trinity's woes were the numerous infringements which allowed Royal to dominate. The match itself started on a sensational note, with Trinity scoring with the kickoff. Inside Dean caught the Royal flat footed with a dazzling 50 metre run for Winger Vera Singer to score. Barasuvia kicked correct, and a Trinity led by six points to Royal, to Royal Nero, in the very first minute of the game. Royal, however, came back almost immediately when, of a short tap taken off a penalty by Skander Fernando, Skander Fernando himself went over to score. The conversion, which was kicked by Skander Fernando, was missed, and Trinity College led six points to four. Thirteen minutes later, Royal took the lead of a penalty to go, go ahead 7-6, and then Ching, who had been playing an excellent game all the time, jinxed his way 30 metres to score an unconverted try. Half time was taken with Royal College leading 11 points to 6. The second half started with Trinity fighting back and keeping play in Royal territory. Royal appeared at this stage to be relaxing with their lead, but then Royal asserted themselves and then they proved just too good for Trinity. Siri Wardner barged over and then Ching with another dazzling 30 metre dash, very much like the first, scored. And Royal had gone ahead. 21 points to 6. Finally, to set the seal on a fine performance, Ching, who had, as I told you, scored twice earlier, touched down again in injury time. Royal went ahead 25-6. Royal score came off one goal, four tries and one penalty to one goal by Trinity. The under-17 match was won by Royal College 16-7. Once again, the final scores in the Badger Shield, Royal won by 25 points to 6 make a total tally of 61 points to 6, which I believe is the largest tally of points by any winner of the Badly Shield. Well, that's all for tonight. Good night. That was Aubrey Ebert reporting down the line from Candy on the second leg Badby Shield match between Royal and Trinity played this evening at Bogumbara. It came to you with the compliments of Lionel's Learners, the scientific driver trainers of Union Place, Colombo 2. <laughs> Yeah, I did.